Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about potassium metal. Uh, this mess that you see right in front of you here is potassium and mineral oil. And it does not look very metallic as such, does it? And that's because well, there's corrosion. There's the action of oxygen from the atmosphere. That oxygen attacks this very vulnerable metal and produces potassium uh, oxides. I'm not a chemist. I don't know all the uh, uh, the exact compounds that it makes, but look at this. This is thoroughly oxidized. That There's no metal in there at this point. Um, but uh, we keep a little bit of this uh, type so that we can sell in our gram samples. And what we do is we take this metal, which is very soft. I'm going to uh, show it to you, uh, just how soft it is. And you can literally cut it with scissors. <laughs> uh, and there's nothing to it but it is so vulnerable to oxygen that you can see look how shiny it is uh, if you give this less than a minute it's going to it's going to turn all dark and there's nothing you can do about it uh, at this point there there is no way to keep that metal from turning this really nice looking shade of purple uh, it's it's going to lose all that luster pretty soon. So what we do is we take these and then just cut them down into strips uh, of about a gram each and then put them in these little bottles over here. And then that's our potassium samples for our one gram samples that we sell on the website. And Actually, I kind of like it, and I think most people do too, because it has that purple-blue uh, oxidation layer on it, in which nothing else on the periodic table looks quite like that. Uh, so that's potassium. And this is a metal that burns uh, when you plop it in water, and you'll get a very colorful, uh, very colorful explosion really because it doesn't just catch on fire it, it, it looks it looks pretty violent um, but it is kind of a, an expensive metal to be tossing much of it into water and not to mention a little bit dangerous this is however what it looks like if it has no oxidation at all I mean it is absolutely pristine uh, but uh, in order to make these ampules you need special equipment obviously uh, if you've ever seen a glove box uh, those boxes that people stick their hands through, uh, that's what's needed to keep all traces of oxygen out and be able to keep um, keep that metal looking like this. So let's see how we're doing here. Uh, we cut this just, what, a minute ago? And uh, there's still a little bit of sheen on it. And that's only thanks to to the uh, to the layer of oil that's on there because if if we if we cut it well if we try to dry it man that that oxidation layer comes on so fast it's like literally before your eyes uh, it's not going to cooperate here because the scissors itself is kind of oily and it gives it a little bit of protection but eventually even that oil is not going to be enough to again keep it from oxidation and the proof of that is look at that that's been sitting there for i don't know several weeks now like that and it just turns white and white and white so we we gotta scrape that off to get to the metal underneath um kind of a messy situation I have here now so I'm gonna have to change these gloves but um, this is another attempt that we made with a dry no no um, oil and just put straight argon right into these little bottles but as you can see it, there's enough oxygen that can get through the seal to uh, mess up the surface and it was kind of a failed experiment uh, still looks kind of neat but anyway uh, I don't know if I've made a, a useful video here. This is more of a show and tell than anything else. But if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. This is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you so much.